After the cryostat is removed from its crate, roll it to the designated place in the laboratory. Once in place, adjust the feet to stabilize the instrument. Make sure that there is enough distance between the sides of the cryostat and the walls for optimal air circulation. Insert the storage shelves to the right and to the left of the instrument's microtome. Attach the stationary heat extractor as shown here. Install the knife holder base onto the dovetail in the cryo chamber. Position the CE knife holder onto the base. Set the necessary clearance angle and tighten the screw with the 4mm Allen key. Insert the glass into the frame of the anti-roll guide. Place the section waste tray behind the knife holder base. Place the brush shelf in front of the knife holder base. The CN knife holder is used to hold reusable knives and is installed onto the knife holder base in a similar manner. For installation details, please refer to the Leica CM1860, Leica CM1860 UV instructions for use. Install the hand wheel as shown here. Following installation, it is advisable to leave the hand wheel in a locked position until a low temperature is reached and the hand wheel rotation feels smooth. Turn on the cryostat using the main switch on the right side of the instrument. Turn on the light in the cryo chamber for clearer visibility. Set the time using the plus minus clock buttons. These are located under the LED display. You must hold down the buttons for more than one second. The factory default setting for the automatic defrost is midnight. To change the setting, push either of the buttons briefly at first and then hold for more than one second to set the start time. The automatic defrost will activate every 24 hours at the set time, and the duration of the cycle is 12 minutes.
set the desired chamber temperature by pressing the plus minus buttons under the thermometer LED. The temperature displayed on the LED shows the actual chamber temperature. To see the target temperature, press either of the buttons briefly. You may freeze specimens on either the freezing shelf or, for faster freezing, you can use the Peltier element, which can reach a temperature as low as minus 59 degrees Celsius. To activate the Peltier element, press the button with the three snowflakes. The small Peltier sign above the button will turn blue when the Peltier element is activated. Insert the high-profile blade into the knife holder between the two pressure plates and tighten the lever. Be sure to tighten the lever until it is parallel to the pressure plate. Over-tightening will lead to distortion of the blade and cause sectioning artifacts such as thick and thin sectioning. If you want to use the low-profile blade, make sure to insert the designated inlay first. You can use different parts of the blade using the lateral adjustment feature of the blade holder. To do so, loosen the lever, move the blade holder to the position you want, and tighten the lever again. Be sure to cover the blade surface with the anti-roll guide when you insert or remove specimen discs. Adjust the XY orientation or perform other tasks within the chamber. Make sure that the hand wheel is in the locked position, and then place the object plate into the object head opening. Make sure that it is tightly clamped with the designated lever. To orient the specimen face to the blade edge, loosen the designated lever and move the object head in the XYZ direction. You can also easily feel the zero position. Make sure to tighten the lever when you find the optimum position. Adjust the position of the specimen against the blade using the slow and fast coarse feed buttons. Please note, if you press the fast backward course feed button, the object head will not stop until either it has reached the home position or you press the forward course feed button. You may trim the specimen by alternately pressing the slow forward course feed button and rotating the hand wheel. Be sure that you activate the course feed only when the specimen is in the uppermost position. Set the desired section thickness by pressing the plus-minus buttons, located on the far left portion of the front control panel. Having done this, you can now start sectioning. If you use the anti-roll guide, it is extremely important to have it set correctly. For the adjustment, use the knob shown here. For optimum sectioning, 
the front edge of the glass should be positioned very slightly beyond the blade edge. If there is increased frost formation on the surfaces of the cryo chamber, you may want to activate the manual defrost mode for the cryo chamber. To do so, press the snowflake button together with the plus button in the chamber temperature field. There will be a sound to confirm the activation of the mode. The cycle lasts 12 minutes, but it can be deactivated at any time by pressing the snowflake button together with the minus button. If there is increased frost formation on the surface of the freezing shelf, you may want to activate the shelf's manual defrost mode. To do so, press the snowflake button immediately followed by the Peltier button. There will be a sound to confirm the activation of the mode. The cycle lasts 12 minutes, but it can be deactivated at any time by pressing the same combination of buttons. Be sure to remove all specimens from the freezing shelf during the defrost mode as the freezing shelf may get hot and damage specimen integrity. If you leave the instrument unattended for some time, you can lock the control panel to prevent undesired setting changes. Be sure to remove the disposable blade from the blade holder whenever the cryostat is not in active use. To further enhance operator safety, after the pressure plate has been released, use the Leica brush with magnet to handle the blade. To prevent accidental injuries, always wear safety gloves. You can activate the UVC disinfection cycle at any time. Time guidelines for disinfecting specific pathogens are available on the certificate posted on the Leica Microsystems website. Press the UVC button briefly to begin the 30-minute disinfection cycle. To activate the 3-hour disinfection cycle, press the UVC button for approximately 4 seconds. Please note that the Leica UVC disinfection has a built-in safety feature that turns off the UV light if the heating window is accidentally opened during the activated cycle. To speed up the freezing of the specimen, you can use the stationary heat extractor at any time. The thermal block facilitates the removal of the frozen specimen from the object plate. If you need additional storage areas inside the cryo chamber, you can use the movable storage shelf. You can use one or two object plate holders to store and pre-cool the object plates. They fit perfectly in the space behind the freezing shelf and leave the cryo chamber work area free of unnecessary clutter.
please note that specimens should not be left on the object plate holders during manual or overnight automatic defrost cycles. The temperature of the freezing shelf is lower than the rest of the cryo chamber, and so it is possible for frost to form on it, especially at night after the defrost cycle. To eliminate this possibility, use the free shelf cover before you leave the lab in the evening.